I was talking to these women, I realized how, how little I've ever heard about women in the military. What I didn't really know anything about their jobs or what they did or what they thought about the institution that they were in. And uh, I was impressed, like I realized when I was talking to them, how how ignored they'd been by the women's movement. How they're in a, in America, they're thought of this in this sort of right wing bastion, <laughs> you know, and that the women's movement has ignored them for a long time. They've made a lot of their strides by, by themselves, you know, within, within a very entrenched institution. I think she has to adapt, women in the military have to adapt a military bearing to be respected. They have to certainly be on par in a certain, in a lot of different ways with, with the men, which they seem to do. Um, and I, but I think that when you learn about the kind of hero she is, it's all about how She's really a really, really deeply human in that situation, that, that a lot of things are going on, that yes, she is brave, and yes, she is fearless and um, concerned about everybody's well-being, but also she's, she is afraid, and she's really confused, and she's all those things that a human being would be in that situation, not necessarily just a woman. Well, when every now and then when your mind really grasps what it must be like, it's really horrifying, deeply horrifying. I thought, okay, I have basically one scene to establish a character, and actors are not used to that, you know, and that those perspectives on her behavior were more telling about the teller, you know, of the story than about her. And uh, I, I don't know, I really liked all those variations, and I thought about it when I played it more about these are different versions of the same person and they just maybe she had something different for breakfast on this day than on than in this telling you know I, I, I she had to be the same person doing those very different things uh, well yeah I, well look at this movie I t worked three and a half weeks on that's it so it, that was it was very mom friendly <laughs> for that so it's been a year and a half and that's all I've done so I have no experience with Denzel I mean I'm not 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 one moment, except we were in the makeup trailer at the same time, one time. <laughs> but, you know, almost none. He's adorable, though. And on this press junket, I've been having lunch with him, and he's very charming, <laughs> really funny. And, uh, he, yeah, he's a real kick.